Hi, I'm Tracy. I love my job because it allows me to get to know teachers and the great work they're doing. I recently had a conversation with Julie and Michelle of the Hall Adult Education Centre of the Western Quebec School Board about online resources they've been creating to help increase learner autonomy. We spoke about why they created them as well as how they use them in their classrooms. We also talked about what they have been learning as teachers throughout the process. Our first goal was a um, grammar virtuel because we wanted to discriminate all the resources possible that we can find online, which we found that some were better than others. And knowing also that technology could be a motivation for our students. Visually, seeing a PowerPoint and a video situation is very effective in terms of um, retention for our students. After creating the grammar virtuel, we said to each other, well, okay, let's have some other resources so that we can, at only one address, they have everything, only one place to go. Julie put together the Padlet. She created four Padlets and amalgamated them into one so that it's visually very clear, user-friendly for our students. This year was a year of creation with the Grammar Virtuel and the Padlet that Julie created. We also started to use Quizlet.com to work with vocabulary, which is an aspect of learning French, which is often very, it's very static. They could practice using the, the vocabulary or study the vocabulary in a, in a way that wasn't just copying down the definition, where it was more interesting, visual, auditory at the same time, and that they could play a gaming aspect to it. So that was also included in the Padlet. The Quizlet started out much sooner, and that, and that was before I actually showed the Padlet, because mm -hmm. the Padlet, we had some little hiccups along the way in terms of the technology. We had to deal with the developers for some questions with Padlet to get things straightened out. Quizlet was a learning curve for the students. I learned that you had to be beside them in order to set up the account and make sure that everything was functional. There's definitely modeling to be done with that. When I personally finally tried to roll out Padlet and show it to the class, I did have some problems with the technology, so I had to do it a, a couple of times. But but certainly I have a smart board and once I had indicated Padlet and shown them where it was and helped them favorite it on whatever technology device that they had was something that was a go-to to modeling on a one-on-one -on -one needs basis. Oh, the passé composé, do you need to look at it again? Like, let's go look at the Padlet and there's a PowerPoint here to explain it again. So there was a lesson, so to speak, once or twice and on the smart board to show, okay, let's go and leave it open that they could go up and touch it on their on their own and use the smart board uh, as they needed if they didn't have their own technology it was still available for them. In my class, I don't have any smart board. I did a, a presentation to all of them and then uh, more on a individual basis, one on one. Okay, if you have problem with this, why don't you go on Padlet and check this this out? Plus, for my level four and five to do some grammar review before we started the book, I wanted to make sure that they didn't forget get their basic grammar so I had picked a few grammar rules that they had to go and and see and do some exercise you know if they want went too fast well they can always always go back by themselves it's easy you know to stop to rewind to listen to it as much as they want as, as often as they want yes you can stop and rewind as often as you want and also I find that uh, going on Padlet breaks out the the two-hour class into a more dynamic class so they're not stuck in the book for two hours mm -hmm. you know so they can do a little bit of book go watch some videos come back do some listening and come back to the book and so on but it's not not just at the class. I think the one thing about yeah. the Padlet was that it was a one-stop shop that could be in the class absolutely for modeling by the, with the teacher, by the teacher, with the student, for the students, but that they could eventually be able to take that to speak to autonomy, that they could take that outside the classroom and use some of these websites that we've pointed out to them on, in their life or in their yeah, and at home, if they want to do some, at home, some, exactly. some, do some work at home or in the cafe, mm -hmm. it's always accessible, it's easily accessible. Right. We also discovered that thinking that because they were born with a computer in their hand, they wouldn't know how technology use, which is not the case. Mm -hmm. So we, that's why the modeling is uh, very, very important. Yeah. So our role has changed with that, definitely. Our role is more as a coach or a facilitator. Uh, than just, you know, trying to feed them, like you said earlier. Stepping away from spoon feeding and trying to let them discover uh, on their own, you can't teach somebody to walk. They really, ha it's something they have to do 
on their own. So we're going back to that place where the roles are being reversed. So we're giving them, putting them more in charge of their learning by giving them the tools to go find the answers. For next year, I would like to have Padlet on all of the classroom device as default. I have only three computers, but um, they're going to be able to go straight to Padlet. And after that, on our document, we have a, a two documents that, like a welcome document with a bunch of resources inside. The Padlet address is going to be on the front page, on the cover page of that document. It was interesting, too, that in the grammar document for review for certain levels, 3, 4, 5, that Julie has referenced back to on the grammar virtuelle, which rule to go see. We do the same thing with level 1 and level 2, where they do their own uh, notion de grammaire, and they put in their own words the rules that they've seen in the book. But I think after that, we should probably reference the grammar virtuelle so that they can go see the rule in a visual auditory way, as opposed to just on paper, which is very static and not dynamic, not inspirational. We want them to use it just like before an exam. We want to make sure that they, they're going to succeed. Yeah, they so have to succeed. They have to succeed. So I'm not going to make them pass an exam knowing that they they don't know. They're going to fail. And we do have just version A and, and version A. So it's pointless to have them write an exam that when they're not going yeah. to be in a position to succeed. Yeah, so after doing you know the work in their book, doing the Quizlet, they have to do a memory aid that, where they have to write in their own word, resume the grammar rule and after that we're going to do it orally so if uh, they know how to do it fine they may be ready for the exam if not you know go back and the grammar virtuelle yeah. so to revise it and so like that we're we're absolutely sure that the student is going to pass the exam yes and Padlet is never complete eh? it's always a work in process so probably next year by using it a lot more than we did this year we're going to discover that we should modify some stuff and mm -hmm. definitely will it's it's a work in progress it's a work in progress and even some of the websites sometimes are no longer hosted so these are things that we you, yeah. we have to be aware of yeah so also another thing is about us learning Technology. Oh, yes. Well, we're presenting resources, seeing how our students use them and watching them learning in the learning process. We learn at the same time. We're learning about technology. We're learning about what works best. It's never finished. It's wonderful to be able to learn at the same time as the students. We're not learning French. We're learning technology, and we're using technology to help the students learn French. So it's a, it's a circular thing that um, it benefits everybody.